Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, today we could set a record for what we call the warmest low temperature on record for the greater Hartford area. That record is 61 set on October 23rd in 2007. So far, the low temperature is 63. Now, there is a chance the temperature will get down to uh, 61 or lower before midnight. But for now, we got the record. We'll have to see what happens uh, this evening. For Bridgeport, the record is 66 set in 2007, but the low uh, so far today, uh, 64. So no record for Bridgeport. And it's not nearly as warm as it was uh, yesterday yesterday, but still temperatures are above normal. These are the highs for today. 68 of Windsor Lock, 67 in New Haven. Just about everybody was in the uh, 60s for today. And earlier today we had drizzle. We had some showers, but now it's dry. So that bodes well going into our Friday evening. If you have plans to get out and maybe enjoy some dinner, it's 67 degrees in Hartford now with a partly cloudy sky. There's our ICAM in Waterbury where we are seeing a little bit more in the way of clouds. It's 61 there and New Haven is mostly cloudy and uh, 64 degrees. So uniformly temperatures are in the 60s compared to yesterday. Now keep in mind the average high for today is 61, so we're above that. But compared to yesterday, check this out. We are 5 to 15 degrees cooler than it was yesterday when parts of the state at this time were in the upper 70s, around 78 or even 79 in uh, Willimantic. It's 14 degrees cooler uh, than it was uh, 24 hours ago. Right now we got this onshore breeze that will allow the clouds to fill back in again, but for now they're kind of thinning out, at least in parts of southern New England. Off to our west we have a front and out ahead of it a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Ohio on up into portions of Michigan. So uh, that front is heading our way. However, it's going to uh, weaken quite a bit as it heads our way. So tonight, whatever clearing we have for a while this evening, the clouds will fill back in. There could be some spotty drizzle tomorrow, mostly cloudy as the front moves through. There is a chance for a brief shower in some parts of the state going into tomorrow afternoon. Then as the front clears away, we're going to start to see uh, some clearing later on in the day. And then going into Sunday, here comes the crisp, cool autumn air by Sunday morning. It's clear in the 30s and it will enjoy uh, plenty of sunshine, although some of these clouds to our south may make their way into the state later in the day on Sunday. Lows tonight are going to be in the 50s, maybe 55 to 60 along the I-95 corridor. Still a lot milder than it should be. You know, normal lows are in the upper 30s this time of the year, and your highs for tomorrow are going to range from 65 to 70 with mostly cloudy skies and some late day clearing. All right, Sunday, sunny, maybe some late day clouds, though a low of 36 and a high of 55. And then look at next week. Now, Monday and Tuesday, there's a pretty good bed. We'll see uh, occasional rain both days, highs in the 50s. Right now, we are forecasting rain for Wednesday, Thursday, and at least Friday morning. But there's also a chance the wet weather will stay to our south. But there is the potential for very little in the way of sunshine next week and several days of much needed rainfall. For the shoreline tomorrow, it'll turn out to be a fairly mild day, 69. But Sunday, sunny and a high of 57.